So, I've been watching Kariak. We're doing Kariak, but taking a break from this and I'm doing questions. Questions regarding to fundamentals. Because fundamentals, they'll start you off with fundamentals, then after all, they move into med search. That's how loser it is. And like, if you're weak with fundamentals, Majin, it is not a good thing. Because one thing that they test you on the NCLEX is safety. That's what really they're testing you on safety on my app, which is NCLEX Mastery. On this app, it allows you to get questions where it's like 100 randomized questions and stuff. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do 10. So I'm gonna do 10 right now, then after 10 later, then 10 later, then 10 later, until I do like 100. Because I don't wanna do 100 straight up right now, because if I do 100 straight up right now, I'm not gonna be able to finish my cardiac. And uh, my cardiac is legit, how, many, how long is this? That's one thing. But w what I'm going to do is go over some questions on this right now with you guys. This is one question. This is how basically an unclass question will most likely look like. This is one question that says, The nurse is teaching a mother on safety measures when the, when caring for a 19 month old. Which of the following statement by the mother indicates that the teaching provides the nurse regarding safety is effective. The key word is effective. There's two type of questions. There's need further teaching and effective. Meaning the mother basically understands. So that's what the question is asking and this is related to a teaching to a 19 month years old basically like a year and a couple of months old it says a year and a couple of months old at this time you at this age you have to know like um this age you got to put them on that they're one year old so they're touching a lot of things so security ish because they're touching things and they might take out a knife and start like stabbing each other boom and it, it has the explanation accidental blah 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 poisonous thing because they're touching Next, a nurse receives an order for an intravascular three month, um, three years old patient. Three years old patient, put them on. This is a little kid, so this one, because this is you. You need to know your landmarks. This is actually on the thigh outside, on the outside of your thigh, and that's the largest muscles. And boom, and it explains it. It's like you know, anterior, lateral of the thigh. Next, this is basically related to um autonomy ish, and um they're asking the patient like. You know, the patient is basically saying, yo, like, I don't want to be mechanically ventilated, this and that, so what should I do? Blah, 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 blah. You gotta put them on DNR. DNRs, like, do not, stuff like this, you need a doctor's order. So, boom, and that explains it. The physicians determines, like, you know, the competency and stuff, blah, 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 blah. Next, the nurse is preparing um, to administer a subcut heparin injection. What angle, you need to know the angles, and that is the subcut, you're trying to hit into the fat area, so 45 degrees, and that's it. With this, you just need to know certain things. Oh, this is a math. Where's the calculator? Where's my calculator? Calculator, bro, come on, man. When it comes down to math stuff, just put in mind that math stuff, if for the end class, you're going to have like a drop down, drop down calculator you don't need to bring your own calculator it's on the screen but you need to know the formula so they're asking for drip rates stuff like that right they're asking for drip rates so the total amount is 500 so it's 500 and it's being done over one hour and one hour is basically 60 minutes so you're dividing it by 60 and boom then after all from there you multiply it with the drip rate which is 15 times 15 boom 125 one to the five and next see that's how it goes the nursing student is preparing to administer an IM injection on the infant the nurse pre preceptor instructs the students to use what side and the key word here is the infant and for an infant the largest part is the legs the thighs boom preferred site because it's the biggest area like there's the glutinous that one it's not it's not even recommended for adults, really, because if you're injecting there, you you could hit like a nerve. So, next question seven so far. Uh, a nurse is preparing to administer intravenous morphine when she notices that the patient's IV is swollen and red. Swollen and red. So basically, it, there's a chance of phlebitis or whatever. What should you do? The first thing you should do is discontinue that ish because you want to stop it you don't want to continue it you go to the physicians the rap you put compress and it's still running you're not doing nothing check patency is basically pointless because it says it right here it's like a swollen and it's red so it could be a lot of things it could be it could be infiltrated it could be 
so I'll buy this or whatever so you just want to continue discontinue it next age are old full thickness burns so oh, that's not good this total um 34 total body um someone called the unit claiming to be the patient's mother ask the information about you know the prognosis and stuff like that right you gotta put in mind that um especially calls phone calls like you can't you can't give out information for a phone like you cannot especially not for patients information without confirmation and whatever so you would think that to let me transfer to the physician but really i cannot give you phone information on the phone which is hipaa you gotta know hipaa my friend a nurse manager notices that an increased number of incident reports are completed because of late medication administration around lunchtime what action should you do what action should you do staff patient um no that that's pointless ask no ask the staff to eat no no investigate because you gotta assess find out what's good mommy you gotta find out what's good bro what's up last question until i go back to this nurse is preparing to administer administer a bedtime medication to a patient finds a filling unlabeled syringe oh what the what action is most appropriate unlabeled syringe my g you're not even gonna ask that that that's one you're not gonna label it for what you don't even know what it is you're gonna call previous person to verify the medication that person probably don't even know administer the medication yeah so you can have a malpractice no bro like you're gonna throw that issue away that's a fact though so that's basically first turn and later on when i do this it's actually going to reset to 10 so i'm just going to consistently do 10 questions over and over and over and over so i haven't been out throughout the whole day so i thought it was night time bro oh crap been home all day been studying should treat yourself out so i'm going to the coffee no not going to the coffee shop i'm going to the comic shop because they told me that i got comics that I asked them to put on reserve. Oh dear, now they're gonna be able to identify me. What are you doing? <laughs> and we're gonna do the opening. Did you need help with that? You ready? Just hold it to me. Just, <laughs> hold it. Just gotta hold it. Hold, hold, hold. No, it. I'm not touching that. No. <laughs> Bad. Let it be over Come on, bro. Come on, man. Oh. Really, bro? Ah, you're good. <laughs> Wolverine. Okay. I want a Wolverine or I want a Cyclops. Maybe you should have massaged the bag more. Because that would be cheating. I know. <laughs> I know what just happened. <laughs> and I'm out. Thank you very much. I'll All see right, you next week. See you later. Uh, next month? Next month. Is it, isn't it next month? When does the comics usually come in? When? It'll be out next week. Oh. Is the end of this month. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> area modern myths and my marinara venue so now i'm on my way home to study go back to study that's the that is so cool bro look at that what what damn but i try to do the spicy chicken challenge hopefully this is the right one it looks like it Yes, the car is a mess. Whew. So basically, I got the ramen challenge. Cause there's like a challenge thing online. Well, it's pretty old now, but it was dope. Like my brother showed it to me and I was like, when I start, oh man, my brother would love this. He will love it. So we got that. The ramen challenge. It's supposed to be like two times hotter than hot. Supposedly one of the hottest ramen out, which will be super duper dope. So we kinda I guess we're gonna do a ramen challenge. A spicy, super spicy ramen challenge. I don't know what it's called, but it's a challenge. That is just dope, bro. Facto. In New York, I'm in the rock. Hide it in my sock. Use this every rock.